how to add easy transitions to your montages using a simple online video editor. Adding transitions between your video clips is a great way to make your footage more engaging. Whether you want to create a fun montage of gaming footage or just move between scenes in a vlog, you can now add transitions to your videos using a simple online video editor with no software to download. First things first, in your internet browser, head over to veed.io, which is a simple online video editor. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free, and I've left a direct link to Veed down in the video description. But just be aware that this feature is a part of the Veed Pro license, and to find out some more information about what that means, you can also head down to the video description. Once you're all set up, you'll find yourself within the Veed workspace, and to get started, all you need to do is go to the top right-hand corner and select New Project, then upload a file. Now select your first video clip from your computer and hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see that clip sitting down at the bottom of the screen in the video timeline. Now I want to create a montage with my footage, so I need to add a second clip. And to do that, I'm gonna go over to the left-hand toolbar and select upload, and then upload video. Now I'll select a second clip from my computer and once again, hit open. So as you can see, I now have two clips sitting down in the video timeline and I can add as many clips as I want using that exact same method. So now I want to add a transition between these two videos. All you need to do is go down to the video timeline and select this little square between the two clips. And that now opens up the transitions menu over on the left hand side. And here you can browse through all of the transition options. You've got a simple dissolve, a fade to black, a fade to white. And by scrolling down, you'll see there's lots of other effects you can use for your videos. For my montage, I'm gonna select the cross warp effect. And by selecting it, that's now been added to my videos in the timeline. So if I now press play, you'll see that this really cool transition has been added to my footage. If you don't like what you see and you want to swap out your transition for a different effect, all you need to do is go back to that little square, select it, and then just choose another transition from the transitions menu. Now, I also want to add a transition to the end of my sequence, and I wanna put a little fade to black in there, which seems like a good way to end a video. And all I'm gonna do is go over to the square at the end of my timeline, select that to open up the transitions menu, and now I'm just gonna select fade to black to add that effect to my sequence. And by pressing play again, you'll see that I have one transition in the middle of my sequence, and then a nice fade to black to bring the whole thing to a close. If you are making a montage, you might want to add some music to your edit. And to do that, you just have to go over to the left-hand side and select Upload once again. But this time, select Upload Audio. And you can now select any audio file from your computer, hit Open, and you'll see that there is now an audio file sitting on top of my videos in the timeline. But obviously, at the moment, it is way, way too long for my footage. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter. And to do that, I'm just gonna select it, hover my cursor over the back end of it, and then just click and drag until it's the same length as my video sequence. And now just so I can see things a little clearer, I'm gonna select fit timeline over on the right hand side. And you can now see that my audio track fits my entire sequence. And you can also use this same clicking and dragging method to adjust the lengths of your video clips within your sequence, just by selecting them, hovering your cursor, and then clicking and dragging them to whatever length that you want. Within the Veed editor, you can also add on-screen text, audio visualizers, and lots of other effects. So make sure you follow that link down in the description and check out Veed for yourself. When you're finished editing, just go over to the top right-hand corner of the screen and select Export, and then Export Video, and Veed will now render out your final file. On this next page, you can review your video by pressing Play, and if you're happy, you can go over to the right-hand side, and you can either copy the link to send to a friend or a colleague, or you can download the whole video by going to download mp4, which downloads your finished video to your computer. And here is the finished product, two transitions added to my simple montage. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.